Hey, uh, a glorious Saturday here in Venice. It's quiet, the beach is just steps away, and I am standing at the corner of 30th and Speedway, right in front of a uh, hidden entrance to the Venice Beach House. Now, the Venice Beach House used to be the Warren Wilson House. It was built in 1911. It's the largest and finest craftsman bungalow in Venice. And uh, Warren Wilson was the owner and editor of the Los Angeles Daily News, an influential LA paper. He was a noted progressive. He would write editorials about uh, women's suffrage and uh, ending racial prejudice and criminal justice reform. So Wilson built this for his very large family. He had a wife and eight kids. And he was good friends with Abbott Kinney, who was the developer of Venice, uh, the visionary that created the Venice Canals and the Venice in America uh, development uh, back in the early 1900s. They were also uh, related. Uh, Abbott Kinney's sons, two of them, married two of Warren Wilson's daughters. So kind of inextricable, these two families. Cool thing about this house, uh, in addition to just being a beautiful craftsman home, is that uh, it, it was kind of a center for a lot of discussions and forums on politics and business and how best to develop Los Angeles. Uh, Charlie Chaplin stayed here in 1914 while he was filming a movie out here. Amy Semple McPherson, the evangelist who created the Angelus Temple. Uh, so the Wilsons had this house and the family through I believe the early 40s and uh, it was restored over the years and now it's a high-end um, B&B. So the property is historic not only as architecture, as one of the finest craftsman houses in Venice, but uh, also because it's uh, sort of a window back into what Venice was like back in the early 1900s when it was first coming up. It was nowhere near as built up as this. Uh, the house was surrounded by sand dunes at the time it was built. And uh, it was only later that you get tons and tons of low-rise and, and mid-rise houses and apartment buildings sort of popping up around it. You can imagine what it would have been like up on the second floor of this beautiful home, looking out at the ocean view, getting a nice sea breeze coming through, your eight kids running around the house. Pretty idyllic. Not bad, Mr. Wilson. Good choice. Thanks for doing LA with me.